Look at that. Oh my God. Wow, that is an incredible color. Doing body work, I have found out is extremely tedious for the most part. You know, when you're trying to fill big areas and you're then going back over it again and again, it really, really takes its toll on just your motivation. However, today I bought some high build primer because I was ready to start working on the rear bumper. I'd got it to a point where it was looking good, but there were just micro scratches across the whole thing where I'd used a, a sandpaper that was way too aggressive. And even though that this does look like a mess because it needs wiping down, I cannot believe the difference that that has made to the finish of my car. It is fantastic. You know, there were imperfections over the whole thing and I used uh, like a U-pole uh, primer. There's probably better stuff out there, but even so, I was able to get a real thick coat on. I was getting no runs in it whatsoever. And then coming to sand it down because it's high build, there's so much on there. It's taking out every single perfection. I am extremely happy with how that is coming out. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be a professional job. I'm working to a really tight deadline. I am trying to get it done as fast as I possibly can whilst achieving a finish that is perhaps in you know, 80%, you know, and an 80% finish considering where it was, I think is, is really good considering I would have done it all, my, all myself. I am dead chuffed with that. I think that that is that panel or that, that bumper done. I will wipe it down so that it is ready for paint and I will then just go back over it and make sure that there's no bits that I've missed. But I now need to work through the remainder of my car. It's been a really long road getting here. The amount of prep it has taken has been pretty ridiculous, but I am so excited for the color that this car is going to be. I've started spraying the inside of a door and that is the color that it is gonna end up. So that is so awesome. I'm actually using graffiti paint. So I've gone out on a limb. I did think, you know, previously it was done in matte. I thought that I would try and go semi-gloss, however, I did spray a headlight cover and it marks really easy. And um, you know, the amount of effort that I will have put into this car preparing it for paint, that's just not gonna be good enough. So I've also got some clear coat to go over the top of the graffiti paint. Bit of a ridiculous way of doing it to be honest, but hey, at least in the title, I can say I painted my car with graffiti paint. So if I were doing it again, I probably wouldn't go through the same amount of prep and I would probably use a matte paint. Well, in my experience, the matte paint that was on it scratched far less. So I'm going to spray it, it is a semi-gloss, gonna clear it over the top. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm doing it properly. I've, I'm using 1K, so it's still going to be safe for me to spray. You know, 2K's got hardeners, which cause all sorts of uh, nasty health problems. But yeah, 1K should be fine to spray that. I have got a respirator as well, so 
I'm making sure that I'm wearing the correct PPE. Uh, so the paint's acrylic, the clear coat is also acrylic, so I'm gonna have a go uh, laying down a little bit of paint and then some, some acrylic on some cardboard to see if I can lay down some really quick coats, see how that goes. Um, and then I'm just gonna have to you know, adjust my technique. This is the first time that I will have ever laid down clear coat. I have done a little bit of paint in the past. The tips that I've got for the graffiti are transversal tips. So they spray out in a fan, and that is exactly how the paint will come out of a spray gun as well. So you're able to overlay the, the uh, paint 50% uh, at a time and you get a really beautiful coverage. It goes on far better when you get like a spot type spray pattern. That, that just does not work. Can't wait to see it's all that color. Look at that! Oh my God! Wow, that is an incredible color. I haven't managed to clear coat it yet. I have really struggled to paint it and then clear coat it. I did initially do it on the uh, headlight lids, but I obviously sprayed it far too soon because it really diluted it. Uh, and then the colors were starting to separate a little. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and it should be ready for me to flat it back, I hope, because I really don't want to have to wait like a week for this stuff to go off, because it is 1K, so it does take a long time. So hopefully I can flat that back tomorrow and perhaps start buffing out some of those runs. This part, I was not happy with, uh, so I sprayed it, and as soon as I got the paint on there, I could then see that there was a real bad low spot. So I've been over it with some uh, more high build primer and then I'm going to flat that back tomorrow. It's taken a little while to dry because I, I'm, I'm laying it on quite thick trying to build it up so that I can you know, smooth it out as much as I possibly can. The worst thing would be if there were some reflections and you could see like some ripples in that, that would be really bad. So I can't wait to see the look on people's faces when this is bombing down the street. That is the pinkest pink that I could find and I think you will agree that that is pink as hell. That is so good. So today is a new day and I've been clear coating my car. How good does that look? I'm sorry that I haven't filmed any of it so far. I really wanted to get to know clear coating. Uh, when I did it yesterday, it just wasn't going the way that I wanted and there was some, there was some runs that I've then had to rub back this morning and uh, re-color coat and then to get ready for clearing today. 
So I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to do a good job and to be honest, filming it was a bit of a distraction. However, I still have got the rear bumper to paint, I have got the front bumper to paint, so I'll pop on a chest cam and you guys can watch me do that. This is my first time painting a whole car and I could have done it with just graffiti paint and that would have been super easy but actually laying the clear on it has made quite a big difference to the colour so uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it but it's it's so much deeper but I mean I've done it inside the fuel filler like oh this this thing is gonna rock so it's time we put the windscreen in So there's a little white mark which I think is the middle. Which and that looks like that's the middle. Okay. Oh we can we can adjust it. So you're gonna put your hand on the inside. Yeah. How are you looking? You're just looking a bit far this way. Yep, yeah, same. I can't see any spot wells this side. No, I can't here. Yeah. It's pretty consistent. You should come around and check. Yeah, less than a pinky. Very scientific. <laughs> uh, less than a pinky, I think that's fine. Yes. It's got a windscreen again. So there is my new pink car, oh my god, look at that colour, I am so chuffed with that, it is by no means perfect at all, I've got some runs to rub out, there are areas that we have chipped during reassembly, but you know, I did that myself, I put the hard work in and I am extremely happy with how that came out. 
I mean, all the door shuts are done. I think I've said that before, but you know, in future, you know, if I hit any walls or anything, I can just replace the panel. I can paint it, I can spray it, and it will be sweet again. It's been a really, really hard and long process getting this done over about three weeks and evenings and weekends, been really slogging it out. But hopefully you all agree that it's worth it. So the plan now is I'm, I've got some spray tint coming, so I'm gonna tint all my lights. We might put a massive wing on it. I've got some small like F1 style mirrors to go on it. Uh, I've got some blanking caps coming from Jazz Performance to match with those. So we'll be doing those as a bundle for you guys. I'm also going to spray the engine bay. I've got some, I think it's asphalt gray coming, something like that. So when we pull the engine, I'm going to spray the bay, going to do the cam cover. This car, whilst it used to look a shed, is going to look absolutely amazing at all the shows. I can't wait to get it out there. So thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to tell me what are the next mods I should be doing to this car. Please like this video if you've enjoyed watching me struggle paint it. Also subscribe to us for more Mazda MX-5 and Miata content every week. See you next time.